Yo, 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 I'm not sure if y'all heard about the whole TTE naughty spill, but that man done made it to 1090G, and we gonna react to it. Let's go. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on TTE Naughty, the podcaster whose career ended after snitching. If you ain't trying to die, bad, it's the dope right there. I'm a gangster. I ain't doing it. I'm good. a gangster, nigga. That, that, so, nigga, I don't, for for the, I don't do it for the ground. Nigga, I really do that's this shit. Them. I'm in real life with this nah, shit. This I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a convict. Bro, I'm a convict. I'm a beat your bitch ass up. I don't even play them type of games. Yeah! I ain't never gave up no names, nigga. PSI, big shit, man. And Sean Cotton is the king of a bitch. Bullet Kelv, he trash as <laughs> hell. Academy need to shut up and stay in his place. 1090 Jake is a cracker. We tired of your bitch ass. Hold on, I gotta pause it already, like. Just so y'all, like, the little ones, the young ones that's watching this, bruh, y'all don't have to do all that. You don't have to be all, you know, you don't have to prove a point. A person who's sitting there trying to prove a point all the time, we know you ain't on that. Sit your ass down. We know you ain't. You too. Let's go. And it starts today. Now, the loudest mouth on YouTube just got silenced, and it wasn't even by me. Fox 7 News in Austin, Texas is on demon time after exposing TTE Naughty for snitching. According to the news article, a plot to murder a rapper at a show in downtown Austin has led to the arrests of two men, according to court paperwork. 39-year-old Don Lee Bennett and 38-year-old Pierre Lede Jones were arrested on March 10th. Both are facing a third-degree felony charge of possession of a firearm by a felon, and Jones is facing an additional harassment charge, which is a Class B misdemeanor. Court paperwork says the plot was uncovered when Naughty, who was found in possession of a handgun despite being prohibited from having one, voluntarily, <clears throat> voluntarily told police that... Alright, y'all gotta understand why he said that like that. Volunteering information is crazy. I'm talking about that is completely different. Like, the man didn't get pressured. He didn't get asked a question. No, he just started talking. He just gave that shit up. Boy, you a different breed. Two of his associates were planning to kill another man that night. Yeah! I never gave up no names, nigga! One of his associates was identified as Bennett. The other was named in the affidavit, but has not been arrested yet. Now y'all know I be late to certain things sometimes because I don't like to just go off of what the news says. I like to request the actual reports. On March 9th, 2024, police noticed a gold Lexus with an expired tag. The vehicle was pulled over and officers made contact with Wadisha Hornsby, the driver, and T. Nah, like for real, she look like she a stab a motherfucker up. Like I see why he be riding with her ass like that, cause shit, you don't even gotta. I don't even think she need a, a issue with you to stab your motherfucking ass. Like for real, for real. And then why is y'all riding around with an expired temp? You a felon and you got a gun. Clown activity. T E Naughty, the passenger. Come to find out, Wadisha had a warrant for her arrest, and both her and Naughty were detained outside the vehicle. An officer observed marijuana inside the passenger door, and a probable cause search was conducted. That's when Naughty admitted he had a firearm in the vehicle. Located in the glove box was a cheap-ass 9mm Taurus G2C. A criminal history... <laughs> hey, he just tried to clown Taurus. I ain't gonna count. I'll fuck with Taurus. Don't count. Every <laughs> check would show Naughty is a convicted felon with a long history of arrests. And because of this, he'd be charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. But Naughty would do the impossible. Naughty would voluntarily explain to officers that two associates of his were conspiring to commit murder against another individual later that night. He'd state Don Bennett, aka Dove Don, and William Calvin, aka Wild Bill, were planning on going to see Isaiah Jones, aka OTM Zay, at a show he was performing Zay. at. 
The two made preparations with Naughty to ensure that they could use his VIP access credentials for South by Southwest to attend the show. Naughty had the top VIP credentials since he's a podcast. No, for real. Hey, I ain't, ne- I ain't never seen a grown man that look like he bite people. Like, for real. Dude, definitely like he bit people as a kid. That interviews local rappers. Naughty explained his VIP status would keep the two men from being searched at the door, allowing them to sneak concealed weapons into the club. Naughty explained Don and Bill wanted to kill Zay in order to prevent him from testifying against Bill in an upcoming court case. According to the Travis County Courts, Wild Bill was out on a quarter million dollar bond. On April 2nd, 2021, it was 8.15 in the morning when Austin 911 received a call for an unresponsive male. As police and paramedics arrived at the home, they pronounced 28-year-old Jorge James dead in his bed. Homicide investigators would later learn through witnesses that the previous night, the victim was at a club called Chica's Bonitas. A fight broke out and as the victim attempted to break it up, Wild Bill hit the man, knocking him out. After regaining consciousness, the victim refused medical treatment at the scene and left with his friends, only to die from his injuries in his sleep. Four days later, Damn, imagine how hard you gotta hit a motherfucker for them to literally lose life later on. God damn. Later, the warrant went out for Wild Bill. Charged with aggravated assault, this may be the very case Zay was allegedly going to testify against him on. TTE Naughty told officers that Dove Dawn was going to pay him $450 to deliver the handgun to him at the concert. TTE Naughty also said they were armed and dangerous within the downtown area and in possession of six guns, including an AK-47. Naughty assisted officers in orchestrating a meeting with Dawn. Naughty let the officers see the texts, which were cryptic, but indicative of some type of coordinated plan. Officers contacted the gang unit and major crime suppression unit to inform them on what Naughty just told them. Investigators would learn about a YouTube podcast where OTM Zay spoke disrespectfully about Naughty, indicating a motive for the shooting. Officers developed a plan to have Cadet Naughty meet Don at a gas station. Hey, Surveillance bro. units were in position. Hey, you said Naughty Jake footy as hell. He, he been throwing shots the whole video. He's called that man Cadet Naughty. <laughs> for real, though. And identified Don's vehicle as it pulled in. Naughty told officers he thinks Don is with Bill, and the two would likely shoot at officers if they attempted to arrest them. As Don exited his vehicle, Naughty was shown real-time photos from the surveillance team as he positively identified his own friend. Don would leave the gas station making his way to the concert when he texted Naughty, I'm on the scene. Operating off the intelligence gathered by Naughty, Officers believe Don was at the concert armed with a handgun, conspiring to commit murder. Taking into consideration the number of innocent lives within the densely populated area, a shooting of any kind could have unintended victims, causing a potential mass casualty. So Austin's SWAT team would conduct a high-risk takedown without incident, finding a 45 caliber Glock 30 on Don. He'd be charged with- Nah, imagine that, like, you pull up. You supposed to be meeting your homie and a whole SWAT team draw down on your That man could have lost his life for real, for real. They already think he hostile from the words of his supposed to be partner. Like, this, that's, man. Unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. The investigation of the conspiracy to commit murder would continue as investigators found several YouTube videos of Naughty and Zay identifying a very clear feud between them. A video posted on February 26th by a channel named Rico Shout the Black KP. Man would feature Zay talking about the ongoing dispute. Zay would talk shit about Naughty and Don, but due to the fact that Don was found with his own gun, investigators didn't believe Naughty's story of supposed to be getting paid $450 to deliver him a gun. Because of the obvious feud between the two, investigators believe both men conspired to murder OTM Zay. Both Naughty and Dawn have since bonded out of jail, with Naughty's career as a podcaster officially dying. 
Being the main face of Pop Austin Media and having everyone there turn against him, it's hard to imagine what's next for Naughty aside from a prison sentence. Not only has and hey, nah, for real, I ain't gonna lie, dude was very, dude is entertaining as fuck, he hella funny, but that, this whole little spill you just had going on, bro, after all that big popping you was doing, you've been doing for months, years, and this right here, volunteering, boy, you fucking different. He admitted he was in possession of a firearm as a felon, he overly cooperated with the police. Being a man who let the world know he was BG's cellmate and had a strong stance against rats, it seems highly unlikely TTE Naughty will ever walk in general population. It's even more unlikely that he'll go unknown or unnoticed with the giant tattoo of his own fucking name on his face. On top of all of this, Naughty has another open case for harassment. Back in January, his wife, who's currently divorcing him, told police Nadi called her yelling and threatening her life, saying she was fixing to die. He'd also send a photo showing a gun in a car and a video of himself handling the gun. She'd tell police she knows he's Then he do shit like that. Dude. This is the most incriminate. This is the most incriminate. Like this dude incriminate his himself so much. It's crazy. This dude be on lives posting dumb shit this dude be sending pictures posting like bro you self snitch so much it's not funny violent and he's been violent with her in the past she'd record a part of the car where he can be heard yelling and threatening her days after officers would once again speak with the victim who said naughty has continuously called from private numbers as his number is blocked she'd state naughty yet again threatened to kill her saying he'd shoot up the house it's hard to imagine what was holding Naughty together as he seemed to be crashing all the way out and hoping to make it big beforehand. It's even harder to imagine how the feds have yet to indict him exactly when they caught him with one gun did. and have him on video with another. A federal sentence at this point would guarantee Naughty's future in protective custody as he wouldn't be able to walk any federal yard with his paperwork. But we'll just have to wait and see how much of a plea bargain he'll get from cooperating. Now, Naughty, this is highly disappointing. First off, you're what, 38, 39 years old? Crazy. Screaming blood on YouTube, and you were calling people out for this and that. You attempted to call me out until I got. Yo, and that's why a lot of people do feel the way they feeling about dude. Like, because he did so much popping on the internet before this situation. It's not funny. And then for him to sit and volunteer, offer information, and also put two people, just throw them under the bus, and one of them that's hella close to him, like, it's just foul, bro. It's not okay. Kids, you don't do that. But on the phone with you, and then everything was buddy-buddy. You were super defensive about BG's situation. You were super upfront about rats and snitches and this and that you got caught with a handgun knowing that you're a convicted felon that's right back to the feds you get caught with a gun clown activity and you decide to throw two people under the bus for a murder which is crazy because you weren't even in the courtroom trying to make a deal you were on the scene trying to make a deal hey I'm gonna tell y'all about this now, how far this is gonna go, I don't know. So far, you only got your boy locked up with a gun. You told the police in real time, they're showing, they got you in the fucking surveillance van with the computers and antennas and shit. They got you in there showing you real time footage and you're like, yeah, that's him. Go get him, but watch out. He might pop one of y'all ass. So they sent SWAT, they grabbed, which once again could have got that man severely injured. Grabbed him, found him with a Glock 30. He gets locked up for the gun. The other one's apparently on the run, or just detectives might have talked to him. Maybe they don't have enough evidence to hit them boys with a conspiracy to commit murder charge. 
Maybe the feds are going to step in. Who knows? But at this point in time, you did all that snitching. None of them got locked up on the murder. Your boy got locked on a gun. The same charge as you. Meaning if you get indicted for being a felon by the feds and he gets indicted for being a felon by the feds, y'all finna go to the same motherfucking facility. And, and imagine that. The night they got locked up, they was telling naughty not to talk like they basically couldn't even talk like dude get locked up with the same charge as his homeboy and see him in jail and notice him just walking right past him don't even want to look at him that's bro imagine that feeling bro that's the that's fucked up bro that's why you don't bro no it's no friends and it is no such thing as friends you may have a partner homeboy somebody who you feel like fuck with you Bruh, do your fucking dirt on your own. Unless you full on check in and, you know, do a keep away order, whatever, whatever. But goddamn, bro. You literally just crashed the fuck out. Riding around with a female that got a warrant for her arrest. With an expired tag. With a cheap ass gun. You <laughs> are the prime example for the future. This dude, funny. You are literally the poster of who to show the kids in a juvenile detention facility. You don't want to be like TTE Naughty. You do not want to tattoo your whole name on your own fucking face and come out on YouTube like you the biggest and baddest shit in the world just to get caught with a gun and then snitch on every fucking body you know. That's you now. That's the legacy you're leaving behind. Because you crap, and I'm gonna be honest with you, you had potential with the YouTube shit. With all the yelling and the, ah, 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 eventually you would have got that together. You would have been more professional. You had potential with this Dude YouTube funny shit. As hell. I'll admit that. With the podcasting, you could have did something. But you played. And as far as this goes, I don't see how there's any excuse or leeway or anything that would make. Any of the people that used to fuck with you, fuck with you again. Unfortunately, you know, you did it to yourself. And for the others watching, because I know he's going to see this. But for y'all. A lot of y'all need to understand, you really can only do it to yourself. For real, a lot of you motherfuckers only do it to yourself. You don't understand that. The viewers, this is a prime example of what not to fucking do. You have an opportunity but you can't get out of your own ways. You're threatening your, your ex-wife who you're divorcing. You're threatening to kill her, to shoot her up. Sending her pictures of you with a gun. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? It's All right, I'm going to stop it right here. Man, this whole situation is crazy as hell. Like, for real. This dude was talking to all this big pop of bullshit. And as soon as he... Got them silver bracelets put on them wrists. He got the singing like 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 a bird first thing in the morning. Like, bro, that's not okay. But, yo, y'all tell me what y'all think about this video. It's raw reactions. We out.